For this warm up, we're going to go ahead and connect each of these corner boxes to the vanishing point. So this is an exercise in one point perspective, which means we have one vanishing point. Now remember real quick, that vanishing point represents our viewpoint. So to start, I'm gonna use my ruler and a pencil and just draw a very light horizon line. So that line where the land meets the sky through that vanishing point, this represents our viewpoint, okay? So that means that these boxes here are above our viewpoint, okay? Shifted to the left or shifted to the right, and that these two boxes are below our viewpoint, okay? Shifted to the left and the right. Because these are considered cornered boxes, we see them from the front and also two sides. So front, two sides, front, two sides, front, two sides. Anything that's below that vanishing point, we're gonna see the tops of. Anything that's above the vanishing point, we're gonna see the bottoms of, okay? Now for this exercise, you must use your ruler. I'm also gonna show you a little tip and trick of how to use a shape tracer. It can either be the red one or the green one, so either square or rectangular, either will work just fine. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do to start is, for this, I must use the ruler. And what I'm going to do is I am going to make sure that the three points for each of these boxes that are closest to the vanishing point, I'm gonna connect them to the vanishing point using my ruler. Now I'm not gonna make these lines up, okay? I am going to use my ruler to connect each of these points to this vanishing point, okay? Anytime we connect, the corners to the vanishing point, we are creating orthogonals, okay? So those are the angled lines that connect our structure to the vanishing point, okay? So right now this box appears like it is going on kind of indefinitely um, to that vanishing point. Do the same thing over here. So three vanishing point, or sorry, three corners close to the vanishing point, I'm gonna connect to that vanishing point. So see how I shifted my ruler each time, okay? And then the last few, okay? So I'm gonna do this one here. Connecting the corner to the vanishing point, connecting the corner to the vanishing point. I'm just adjusting my ruler each time. Okay, and then doing it for the last one. So corner to vanishing point, adjusting my ruler corner to vanishing point, and then lastly, corner to vanishing point. Okay, now remember, this will be incorrect if you're not using a ruler, okay? It's also gonna be incorrect if you're not using a vanishing point, okay? So make sure you do those things for me, okay? Now, one thing, I'm gonna zoom you all in, and I wanna share with you um, potentially how to use, okay, one of these things, one of these shape tracers to create a 90 degree angle, okay? So the biggest mistake that students make is when they try and end their boxes. So see how this box looks like it's receding in space indefinitely. That means it's going on and on forever. A lot of students, when they try and end that box, will do something that looks like this, okay? This is what I call the crushed package from Amazon, okay? Just putting a line through this does not end the top and the side, okay? Um, this corner, right here represents the corner of the box. So I have to make sure that I end this top part at the same angle as this, and I have to make sure that I end this side part at the same angle as this, okay? So what I need is a 90 degree angle. A 90 degree angle kind of looks like this, okay? So you have a straight vertical and a straight horizontal, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and erase that and show you two ways that you can do this, okay? Way number one is to use your shape tracer, okay? So either the red or the green, and this corner right here represents a 90 degree angle. So what I can do is line up this corner with my box corner, and I can pull it back however far I would like, and I can trace that. So see how this corner and this corner match up? Okay, this creates a perfect 90 degree angle where this and this are both parallel to one another. That means they're at the same angle, okay? And that this side and this side are parallel to one another. Okay, so watch me do it one more time on this one. Okay, I'm gonna use the 90 degree corner mark here. Okay, so just where that point, where the 
left and the right side meet each other. I'm gonna line it up with the corner of my box here. Let's say I wanna create a very shallow box this time, so a box with not a whole lot of depth, okay? Um, I can line that corner up and trace here and trace here, okay? So that's kind of a cheater way of doing it, okay? So using your shape tracer, using the 90 degree angle, lining it up with a corner, okay? Now the other way of doing it too is this right here, okay? So this represents the corner of my box. I'm gonna line up my ruler, okay? Keep my ruler at this angle, shift it back to however, however far I want it, okay? Before I trace this, ask, ask myself, is this angle the same as that? The answer is yes. Trace this line right to the corner, line up my ruler this way, pull it back till it meets that corner, Okay, and before I trace it, ask myself if this and this match. Okay, like so, right? I'm gonna do it again for you all on this side. Okay, so lining up my ruler, pulling it back. Let's say I want a really shallow box, so something that looks like this. Before I trace it, does this and this match? Are they both parallel? The answer is yes. Tracing it right to the corner, okay? And then doing the same thing here, lining up my ruler and then shifting it back Okay, just till it meets that corner. Okay, before I trace it, are these two lines parallel to one another? Yes, they are. Okay, so I have something that looks like that. Okay, now at this point in time, I've got a whole bunch of orthogonals. So those strings that connect my boxes to the vanishing points that I no longer need. I'm gonna go ahead and take a moment and erase them. Okay, so if it's not part of my box, I'm gonna go ahead and erase it. I'm gonna erase this one, this one, and this one no longer need those strings. They just helped me to connect to my vanishing point. If I wanna leave my horizon line, I can. I just drew that to show you where our viewpoint is. I'm gonna erase this orthogonal, this orthogonal, and this orthogonal. Okay, so again, anything that's not part of the box itself. Okay, so something that looks like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and erase these strings that connect the corners of this box to the vanishing point. and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I have something that at this point looks like this, okay? So before we move on, you have to double check yourself for the following. So thing number one, did you make three corners of each of the boxes that are closest to the vanishing point connect to the vanishing point? Did you use a ruler? Okay, do you have a 90 degree angle to end your box? Okay, so that means complete vertical and a complete horizontal that meet at that center orthogonal, okay? And then last but not least, did you erase any of the orthogonals or any of the strings that you no longer needed, okay? If you did all of those things, you are in good shape to earn full credit for this warm up.